With the introduction of the Fuel EU Maritime Regulation, well-to-wake greenhouse gas emissions are stepping into focus. The regulation considers emissions from production all the way to consumption. The downward trajectory of greenhouse gas emissions aims to encourage the use of low-carbon fuels and requires a continuous reduction of emissions. The responsible party for Fuel EU compliance is the ISM company. The ISM company needs to report emissions data for Fuel EU compliance and declare the handling of the compliance balance. To achieve compliance, different options are possible. The main compliance option is to use low-carbon, well-to-wake fuels. Vessels which have used more than the required amount of such fuels and have achieved a compliance surplus can bank that surplus for the coming years or enter into a pool agreement with other vessels. In a vessel pool, the average greenhouse gas intensity is used for compliance, which allows a vessel surplus to balance another vessel's deficit. Borrowing emissions from next year's balance or surrendering a fine to the national authorities are also feasible compliance options. Both options, however, come at a cost. The borrowed balance needs to be settled with an additional 10% penalty in the next year, and fines are high and increasing each year that the option is used. The ISM company is the default party responsible for Fuel EU compliance, yet potentially has limited influence on the factors determining the compliance balance. The ISM company will therefore secure coverage for all Fuel EU costs from the ship owner. The ship owner will then seek coverage of these costs in its charter party agreements. Charterers, in turn, will seek commercial terms that allow them to secure compensation for any surplus generated for the vessel's compliance balance. To facilitate these commercial transactions and to calculate the fuel EU cost, a trusted source of verified emissions data shared across the entire value chain is essential. Unfortunately, reality is seldom a straight line. In order to facilitate commercial charter agreements, the ship owner needs to document the compliance balance per charter period as the basis to manage the agreed compensation for the fuel EU balance. At the same time, the ship owner needs to ensure that the sum of transactions throughout the year equals the total annual cost for fuel EU maritime compliance, as the ship owner has to compensate the ISM company. To achieve this, the same verified data needs to be used for both the settlement of charter agreements as well as for compliance purposes. Your commercial situation is dynamic, which means you need a robust and standardized yet flexible system. A system with the right data and the required quality from your entire fleet, funneled into one single source of truth. That system is Emissions Connect, purpose-built to enable you to facilitate true industry collaboration. Live emissions data feeds are digitally verified daily, documented in verified statements and made available to share with stakeholders across your end-to-end -end value chain. Get started! The Veracity Integrated Partner Program already connects more than 50,000 vessels of the world's fleet to DNV and Emissions Connect. Yours probably too. Are you prepared for the challenge? Visit dnv.com slash emissions connect.